I was impressed when Gorilla Glue came out with their first polyurethane glues. So when they sent me this media kit with their expanded line of glues, I just had to take a look. Probably the biggest knock against any of the polyurethane glues was them setting up in the bottle. To fix that, Gorilla Glue came up with this new cap that has a stainless steel pin that creates an airtight seal. If you screw that cap back onto the bottle snugly, you get an airtight seal every time. That seal works so well, that's how they send the glue from the factory. You don't have to open these bottles. Just take the top off and it's ready to go. Incidentally, many of us found out that if you stored the old bottles upside down, that would extend the life of the glue a bunch. There were also a bunch of people complaining that this glue expanded, exactly like it says on the package if they would have read that. And yes, it says the same thing on the bottles. I purposely used too much of the urethane glue to show you how tough it is to get this foam off. I just let it dry and get my old paint scraper out and knock it off. And that's all there is to it. The normal sanding you do to get a project ready for finish gets rid of any other glue that's remaining. I made up samples with all of the glues in this kit for brake testing. Here I'm going to use a little bit of the polyurethane, a little bit like they say in the directions, and we'll spread it out and put these pieces together. With the polyurethane glues, you only put the glue on one side of the joint. After spreading that out, I just wiped the other side of the joint with a damp paper towel. We just want a little moisture on that other piece. Then we assemble the pieces and apply some clamp pressure and leave it sit. The temperature in my shop when we did this was only in the 50s, so I'm going to let this stuff sit overnight just to make sure everything cures. I followed the container directions when making up the rest of the samples, including this set with the Gorilla Wood Glue, and I made a set using the Gorilla Super Glue. And finally, I carefully mixed up and applied some of the Gorilla Epoxy to the same kind of wood sticks. Then all of the pieces were put in clamps and left to dry overnight. The next day I secured the pieces in a vise and used the 12 inch channel locks to give me the leverage to apply a steady pressure until the pieces broke. I used such a small contact point because I wanted this joint to fail at the joint and not have the stick break outside of the joint. This happened with one of the test pieces I made before we did this video. Each piece was identified and then I used the pliers to apply enough pressure to break the joint. I tried doing this by hand and you needed more leverage. Despite the small contact pass, the amount of force needed kind of surprised me. And here you can see that we pulled wood out of both sides of the joint. That tells us that the wood gave up, not the glue itself. Next is the joint made with the Gorilla Polyurethane glue. Watch how far these short pieces of wood deflect before the joint breaks. Here again we have wood on both sides of the joint. And here also the wood failed, not the glue. This joint's with the Gorilla Epoxy, and if you watch the vise carefully, you can see it begin to lean before the joint breaks. And once again, we can see that wood has been pulled from both sides of the joint, and that's what we want to see. Probably most surprising to me is this joint made with the Gorilla Super Glue. Notice that the sticks bend about the same amount as with the other glues. And here we can see that the amount of wood pulled from either side of the joint is remarkable. The super glue obviously got deeper into the poplar and then didn't let go when we failed the joint. While all of the brakes look good, the one with the super glue here surprised me more than the others. The next time you go to buy glue, you need to take a hard look at the new offerings from Gorilla Glue. When it comes to sticking things together, the folks at Gorilla Glue have been doing their homework.